Howdy, howdy. Hey, um, I get millions of questions asking me what do all these letters and numbers stand for on the back of these fittings? So right now I'm going to explain socket, switches, there's a basic lamp holder for basic light fittings are all, well, generally the same. A sensor and a downlight. First of all, our sockets. So we've got L, E and N. These are pretty straightforward. All you need to know is that reds twist up together and all go into L. Greens twist up together, all into E. And blacks twist up and go into N. The other thing is, this letter here could be an A. A stands for active, L stands for line, or it's for live. They're A, E, N, or L, E, N. And they're the same on these sockets. Next up, light switch. Bit more complex. What we've got here is 1, C, 2, and a loop terminal. Now the loop terminal is nothing to do with the switch. The loop acts like a connector for just joining two cables together. Now the C is your common. That is the red cable that comes from the switchboard, which is your live cable. It's live all the time. Until you turn the circuit breaker off, that one will be live. Now your number one. That there is for basic light switch. You've got your red core that goes to your light fitting, and you screw it into there, and then you twist up all your earths, all the green ones, and you twist those together, put them into a connector or the loop terminal, and then you've got your neutrals, which are your two black ones, you twist those up together and put them into a connector. And basically, with between the C and the 1, that's on, that's off. Now number 2 is for two-way switching. So what you'll have here is you'll have your red, white, blue cables, that go into the second switch and they just connect the two switches together. Watch my two-way switching video for more information on that. So only worry about the two when you're doing two-way switching. Now, baton holder, just so you can see properly. On the back of this, you've also got a loop terminal here. That's the same as the other one, completely separate from the light fitting itself. It has nothing to do with these two prongs here. That loop terminal is just for joining cables in. You've got an earth terminal here, which has got the wee earth symbol. Hopefully you can see that. And then it's also green on here to indicate earth. If you've got your earth cables, you can just stuff them in there and screw it up. Now these two unlabeled ones here are for your phase and your neutral. So your red and black go into these. It doesn't matter what way around they go. They can go in either either one. Sweet as. Right, next one is this downlight. Now when you buy your downlights, they generally are supplied with a transformer already wired in. If you're unsure, it says SEC on here. That's for your secondary voltage off the uh, either LED driver or transformer. If you're getting a halogen light, you'll have a transformer for it. So, plus, minus on the secondary. Pretty straightforward. Brown goes into plus, blue goes into minus. Now, on the other side of these, crank it open with a screwdriver, we've got an N and an L. So, with the cable going to your light fitting, you'll have red, black, and green. What you want to do is put the red into the L and put the black into the N. And the green one, you can just fold back on itself or cut it off entirely. Just make sure it's not going to interfere with any of these. That... So that's your downlight there explained. Okay, so now I'll explain the sensor. And this is going to be similar to the sensors for your outside outdoor lighting. The ones that are built into those, they may have these same... Uh, letters on them. So first of all P. P stands for pulse and you generally don't use that at all. What it is if you put a push button switch on this and you push on the button this light will turn on, the, the sensor will turn the light on regardless of whether it's day or night or 
whatever you've set it to. Now L. So L stands for line in and that is the L without the arrow or without the one. So in other, other units might say L1. But L here, that there is going to be the red that comes off the switch. So it goes from the red into here. Now N, you're going to put the black from the switch into. Now L with the wee arrow is load out or it might be L1 it might have L and a number 1 written there it's the same thing that's your load out so when this sensor activates it turns the power on between here and here and then the power goes out from here to your light fitting so the cable that comes from your light fitting the red one goes into L out and then the black one can go into your neutral all three of these ends they're all connected inside the unit here so it doesn't matter what end you use if you can't fit all the cables in just use a different end and that's what the connector block looks like so hopefully you understand that uh, what I'll do just so you guys can have a reference at home or whatever if you want to take a screenshot of this as I'll write them all down on here for you So what I've done here is I've written out pretty much as I've explained. Now this is all to do with TPS cables. So that's your red, black, green cables. If you're going to use flexible cords, uh, like your extension cords and other appliance wires, they have brown, blue and green. So the brown is the same as the red and the blue is the same as the black for neutral. So hopefully this helps you guys out, and screenshot that if you need it for anything, otherwise just come back and refer to the video. All good.